What's going on, Fit Fam? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the five best exercises you can do to get hella fit all over your body and to keep those gains for life. In my last video, I talked about why building lean muscle mass is so important and how strength training is the absolute best way to get there. So now that you understand why it matters, I'm gonna share with you what to do so that you can get those gains. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and share it out with a friend. For more health and fitness tips like this, check out my Instagram and YouTube at Nomadic Nutrition and Fitness. And if you wanna join in on a community who wanna share healthy living hacks for fit living on the go, make sure to check out my free Facebook group. When it comes to getting the best results that you can keep in the long run, and especially how to do it efficiently, you definitely want to focus on heavy compound lifts. The types of exercises that require multiple muscle groups to be engaged at the same time. The reason this is so effective is because, of course, if you are using multiple muscles at once, it's going to be burning a ton of calories. It requires a lot of strength and energy, but for a shorter period of time. This means that your workouts are not necessarily long, but that they are super effective for getting you ripped all over your body, head to toe. The other type of movements you can do are called isolation lifts. These are movements that engage just one muscle group at a time. While these definitely still have room in your regimen, it's definitely important to focus on the foundation of your workouts coming from compound movements. This is because compound movements are what is gonna get your whole body super fit, build a killer metabolism, which turns you into a calorie burning machine and allows you to stay fit, lean and strong for life. You can be in and out of the gym in 30 to 45 minutes, but still make sure that you've hit your whole body and burned a ton of calories while getting that muscle and strength gain. Then if you have more time and you want to particularly emphasize any body part, hint, hint, booty gains, then that's when you can throw in some isolation lifts after you've done your compound movements at the beginning. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the top five compound lifts you should be doing to be getting insane results in no time and maintaining that in the long run. The first lift is the barbell deadlift. The deadlift is the absolute king of all strength exercises because it is using so many muscle groups at the same time and it requires a lot of strength and energy. My favorite variation is the sumo deadlift, which is where you have a wide leg stance. This is one of the absolute best exercises for building killer legs with a pop and peach. It's not only working your legs and booty super well, but it's also hitting your core, shoulders, arms, and back. The deadlift is a massive calorie burner and a full body workout. To begin, you're gonna take a wide leg stance with your toes pointed out slightly and make sure that barbell is directly over the middle of your foot. To get started, you're gonna hinge at your hips and grab the barbell exactly shoulder width apart. Then you bend your knees, keeping your back flat and then arch your chest and stick out your butt. Now you are ready to pull that barbell. So pushing off your heels, you are extending all the way until you're standing up straight, tucking in your hips and giving me that butt squeeze at the very top. You want to make sure that the barbell is practically grazing your shins only about one inch away. Make sure to push off those heels, keeping your chest up with your butt sticking out and really feel that burn in the hamstrings and glutes. Ow! The other major lift that you should be doing for overall strength and muscle gain is the barbell back squat. It's really similar to the deadlift in the fact that it is a total body workout. It's generally considered to be a leg exercise and while it definitely focuses on the legs, it is still engaging your arms, shoulders, core, back, and glutes. To make it even more challenging and to make sure you're hitting that peach as much as possible, you're gonna wanna incorporate one of these. This is a fabric resistance band, otherwise called a hip circle. For a long time in my training, I was using a regular rubber resistance band and while this is good, it does not compare with this one. I've been incorporating my fabric resistance band in my workouts for the last couple of months and girl, let me tell you, 
It is a game changer. It is so insanely effective at targeting your glutes and making sure you're getting lots of resistance on that peach. More targeted resistance means more booty growth. To pump up that booty, you're gonna wanna make sure you use some sort of resistance band, getting it over your knees so that you can hit the back of the legs more and a little bit less the front. So to get ready to squat, Get that barbell on top of your shoulders, pinching your shoulder blades, thumbs on top of the bar. And another trick for hitting the back of the legs more is getting some sort of elevation underneath your heels. This allows you to go deeper and hit your hamstrings and glutes a little bit more. So to begin the squat, extend your hips back before you bend your knees to go down. Keep your chest up, sticking out your butt, and as always, give it a nice squeeze when you get to the top and try to go as low as you possibly can, pushing off your heels. The third best lift that you gotta be doing is the barbell hip thrust. This exercise is the queen of all booty building. Literally, if you just did this exercise alone, your peach would grow like crazy. Any fitness model that you see on Instagram who's got a poppin' butt, Guarantee she does hip thrusts at least two to three times a week. Your glutes are muscles, and how do you grow muscle? You have to overload it with weight. The gluteus maximus is actually the biggest muscle in your body, which means that it requires a lot of resistance to grow. Adding in the fabric resistance band to your hip thrusts is a game changer. It allows you to overload the glutes even more and have a really targeted resistance. So add this plus some heavy weights to that barbell and girl, your butt is gonna be popping. To begin the barbell hip thrust, get your booty band up and over those knees and some sort of barbell pad so that you are not digging into the crotch, it's very painful. Then get yourself a bench, put your upper back and shoulders on that bench, feet at a 90 degree angle with your toes pointed out slightly, keeping your chin tucked in the entire time now what you're doing is pushing off of your heels and extending at your hips to lift that weight at the top give me a nice butt squeeze one second hold and really imagine that it's your glutes that are lifting the weight all the way from the floor all the way up into the air and you can do these little burnout pulses to really hit it hard these next two exercises are amazing for getting your upper body whipped into shape the first is the overhead press. This is the absolute king of all shoulder exercises. To begin, grab the barbell exactly shoulder width apart, and then all you are doing is simply extending it up all the way into the air and bringing it back down to your chest. It's also totally fine to use dumbbells for this one if you're a beginner, but eventually work your way up to the actual barbell for more gains. The last one is the bench press. So a lot of women would never even get close to the bench press since they think it's only for guys. But let me tell you, bench pressing is also really good for women. It's actually a great way to give the lady parts a little bit of a natural lift. Not only that, but you're still building your shoulders, arms, and using your core when you're lifting on the bench press. My absolute favorite variation is the close grip bench press. This is still hitting your chest, arm, and shoulder muscles, but it has a particular emphasis on the triceps. To begin the close grip bench press, you're going to lay down flat on the bench with your eyes on the north side of the bar, then grab the barbell exactly shoulder width apart. So this is a much more narrow grip than the traditional bench press, but that is because we are trying to emphasize the triceps a little bit more than just the chest. Then you are simply extending that barbell straight up into the air in a nice clean line and bringing it all the way down to your chest. Make sure you actually touch your chest before lifting it all the way up into the air, fully extended. All right, Fit Fam, that is it. The five lifts that you should absolutely be doing as the foundation of your fitness regimen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you did and share it with somebody who could learn from it. Thanks so much for the support, Fit Fam. Stay tuned for more awesomeness.